Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty, my very, very first empties for 2014. I have a few bits and pieces from my shower, some body care, quite a few face sprays, some skincare and also some makeup items. So this is where you see the products that I am either getting rid of because I don't want them around anymore, but most of all the products that I have finished right through to the bottom. And it's a good chance to give you just a really light, quick review of my thoughts on that product based on that experience and whether I would repurchase and or recommend to you guys. So I'll start with the products that are in my shower. I always start with one of these. If you watch my empties videos, it's no surprise that I have finished up another Listerine whitening plus enamel protection antibacterial mouthwash this is in clean mint what I love about this is that it's whitening so I use crest white strips from the USA about once a year probably it's a 10 day regimen about once a year to whiten my teeth and then I maintain it with a whitening mouthwash and a whitening toothpaste I love the Listerine one I would recommend it and I will continue buying it a product that I have not yet finished but it's time to get rid of is from John Frieda it's their luminous color glaze it says it's it's a clear glosser shine booster clear shine did nothing for me I think this is something that um, either doesn't work at all or needs a lot more work to actually get it to help with shine there's plenty of other products that I can use to help me with healthier glossier shinier looking hair and this one just didn't do enough for me for the effort that's required so getting rid of that one one of my favorites this has been mentioned in other favorites videos time and time again is the foam burst foaming shower gel this one is from from Cussons Imperial Leather, my favorite, favorite scent here in Tropical Sunset, which is coconut and tiari flower, if that's how I say it. A really beautiful tropical scent that just takes you away, it makes showering a breeze, and it lasts a substantial amount of time. It's like a gel formulation that turns to mousse as soon as you squeeze it out onto your loofah. I just love the scent. These are beautiful, and you can often get them on special from your supermarket or Priceline for under $3. Really fantastic product, I love a lot. Uh, I've also finished up an organic product from Grown. Grown is a line of botanical beauty skincare body care products. This is their reviving body exfoliant and it contains pearl, peppermint and ylang ylang. What I really like about this is that it did have sort of fine granules that did exfoliate but this would be a great product for those of you who first of all like organic products. Those of you who like Australian products and those of you who don't like a harsh exfoliator, it certainly still had bits in there that did help to exfoliate, but it wasn't as coarse as some of the like salt or sugar scrubs that I really like to use. So a gentler one for those of you who that may appeal to. And of course, this is earth friendly, not tested on animals. It's free of all things like laurel sulfate, glycols, petrochemicals, artificial fragrance, silicones, parabens, and it's made with bioactive certified organic ingredients. Tony and Guy, I have finished up their Nourish Conditioner for fine hair. It says it provides weightless moisture and I would agree with that. It's not one of those heavier silicone conditioners that just, you know, at a touch take out all of your knots. It does still condition your hair after shampooing, but it is weightless, so it's not going to weigh your hair down. If you don't like a heavy conditioner, this would be a nice one to try from Priceline. I would recommend that one. Okay, that is everything that I have used from the shower. Another couple of miscellaneous products from my bar bathroom include the heat tamer protective spray from Tresemme. I do like this as far as heat tamer protective sprays go, uh, particularly because of the nozzle from Tresemme. So what this does is just provides the product onto your hair in a very fine, even mist. And what that means is that you can go straight in with something like a curling iron or with a straightening iron. You're not having to have to allow for drying time. It's not going to give you a whole lot of hold, but it's just a really nice heat tamer spray that I would and have continued to purchase. As far as nails go this month, I finished up a product that I really have been enjoying from OPI. You can pick this one up from David Jones and probably Maya now too. This is their Rappy Dry Nail Polish Dryer. You spray it onto your nails after you've applied your top coat and it's going to help everything dry a lot faster. I really like that product and would certainly continue to purchase it. Another one is the Deborah Lipman Top Coat. A little bit more difficult to get a hold of. This is her Hard Rock hydrating hardener. I use this as a top coat, sometimes also as a base coat. It's a beautiful product, a great substitute or alternative to the Sesh Vite top coat. I've raved about it before. I would thoroughly recommend the Hard Rock from Deborah Lipman. I would definitely repurchase. I don't know where the bow has gone, but this is the perfume called Viva La Juicy from 
Juicy Couture. It normally comes with a beautiful bright pink bow that I've taken off and put somewhere when I finish the bottle. Um, but this is a lovely sort of young, fruity, sweet scent, perfect for spring, summer. I'm not sure if I would repurchase. It's just quite a young scent, I would say, in terms of its sweet fruitiness, um, but a very nice one and I would still recommend it if you like sweet fruity scents. Definitely make sure that you smell this one. It is lovely. I also have finished up a couple of body products that I've really enjoyed. This was a sample size that I got from Lush of the Karma Cream Body Cream. It contains orange flower water, almond oil, glycerin, cocoa butter, many other ingredients including patchouli so that you know this does contain a couple of parabens. I loved the scent of this. Now I have smelt the Karma scent in the Karma soap, I've smelt it in the Karma bath, bubble bars maybe is what they are, the Karma scent, the solid scent I think and maybe there's some other products that come with the Karma smell. It's never done anything for me but this one was thrown in with a last purchase that I made with Lush and I just... Oh, I have not been able to get over the gorgeous scent, how it smells on my skin. The smell lingers. I love fragranced products and I really like this fragrance from this cream, not necessarily all of the Karma range, but I would encourage you to check that one out. I read a lot of reviews online. People either love or hate the Karma scent. I love it. I've bought a full size and am really, really loving it. The other body product that I have been enjoying this month is the Tan Towel. This is a self-tan towelette. These are great. These are for the face and the body. I've got these in fair to medium skin tones and they come in little sachets. So each towel comes in a little sachet. You get five sachets per box and you just use the whole towel to self-tan from top to bottom, including your face, and I love them. It's a really nice natural tan that you can build with continued frequent use. A little less messy, I would say, than the mitt and the liquid or the foam or the sprays. If you do get a chance to get your hands on some tan towels, I would definitely recommend them and would consider repurchasing. Moving on to some face skincare now. I recently bought this product from Kiehl's. This I bought to address my hyperpigmentation on my face and this is their Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. I've used Clinique's Even Better, I think is what it's called, to mediocre results. I'm not sure if it worked. If it did work, it was very, very subtle. Uh, and I would say probably the same for Kiehl's. I felt like it was doing something. It hasn't eliminated my hyperpigmentation. Maybe I'm just looking for a complete miracle product. But I enjoyed this serum all the same. This is a completely clear, very, very liquidy product that you dispense. I used about four drops out of the dropper, morning and night, as a serum. So after my toner and before my moisturizer. It says that it's clinically demonstrated to rapidly correct dark spots and clarify skin tone for deeply visible correction. It's got a potent complex of activated C, white birch and peony. I would probably move on to trying something else next time. I finished up something that I've been using as a night cream. This one is from John Plunkett, widely available in pharmacies around the place. This is their Advanced Collagen Lift Moisturizer. Now this one does contain mineral oil. This they say is a day and night treatment moisturizer. Now I have combination skin and I really only used this one at night. This is a very nice one in terms of being very emollient, very spreadable, but it does have a bit of an oil feel to it. So a great Great intensive hydrating moisturizer for me for night I would not consider using this in the daytime but decent I felt like my face was just really getting hydrated and a good treatment with that some other face products here that I have finished up a nighttime cream from Cebu Cebu is a skincare line that you can get from iHerb.com. I'll include a link to their skincare range down below. Cebu Beauty makes skincare that's based around the sea buckthorn. It's an all natural product here. It's their replenishing night cream and I really enjoyed it. This was a lighter moisturizer. It felt like it just sank into the skin immediately. It was like a light sort of white cream gel type feel in a pot and I really enjoyed this. This would be like an everyday nighttime moisturizer for me for my combination skin. I would recommend this to those of you who don't have particular needs like hyperpigmentation or things like that. Just a really nice every day or every night uh, moisturizer, their replenishing night cream. I'll include links down below and a discount code if you have not used iHerb before to get a discount on your first purchase. Another couple of products I finished up from Cebu Beauty. 
their Sea Buckthorn Age Defying Eye Cream. They claim that it visibly reduces the appearance of wrinkles, dark circles and puffiness. Again, all natural, paraben free, cruelty free. I thought that this was a decent eye cream. I would recommend this line for those of you in sort of your teens, your 20s. I think that you may need something a little bit more heavier duty from your 30s onwards. This is a product that was recommended to me by the lady that does my facials and it's from Ultraceuticals. I've been using this as a facial sunscreen. It's their Sun Active SPF 50 Plus Body Lotion. It contains complete UVA and UVB spectrum sunscreens with an advanced antioxidant complex. It's lightweight, it's non-greasy, four hours water resistant. She recommended I use this on my face. She has a big bottle that she uses on her face and I did really enjoy this. I felt like it was very light. A huge bottle would last you forever, but it just sank right into the skin and I thought that it did go very nicely under makeup without being much of an oil slick. So I liked that a lot. So I've just got five face sprays to show you and then some bits and bobs of makeup and then we're done. First face spray that I have finished is from Australis. This is their makeup finishing spritz. It sets makeup for all day wear they say and it contains aloe vera and rose water. I would say that this is a great substitute for those of you who don't want to fork out the dollars for the MAC Fix Plus spray. It's not something that's going to help extend the wear of your makeup for an extremely long time. I feel like it does help to finish after you've applied powder over your foundation. It does help to just sort of melt everything together I guess you would say and for that I think it does slightly extend the wear of your makeup because of that um, but just a really nice thing for finishing your makeup or for refreshment throughout the day I liked that I have repurchased this before it's nice and affordable maybe 15 bucks for 150 mils and I would recommend this for those of you who are interested in something like fix plus but don't want to fork out the money for it I've also finished up a Cosmia hydrating rose water mist for all skin types I would use this for exactly the same reasons that I would use the Australis. I would use this also under my makeup as a sort of toner type mist as well while I'm applying my skincare. This is made with a thousand delicately distilled rose petals. It says with each spray, skin is hydrated and refreshed. I like this one a lot. It is made in Australia from quality local and imported product. I would recommend the Cosmia Hydrating Rose Water Mist and you can find this in department stores. I think David Jones carry Cosmia. So very easy to find. I've also finished up an antioxidant hydra mist from Dermalogica. This one, again, I would use this as a toner or for similar purposes as the other products. This is part of their Age Smart range and what I love about this is that it smells like cloves. It does contain ingredients in here like an active antioxidant shield of white tea, licorice and vitamin E to fight damaging free radicals. It's got things in it to uh, help prevent the signs of aging. It's got a highly active vitamin C complex and collagen stimulating peptides to encourage firmness and elasticity. Hyaluronic acid acts as a hydration magnet to quench dehydrated skin, while pea extract creates instant firming action to lift and tighten. It's got rose and clove extracts to comfort and refresh the skin. Contains no artificial fragrance or color. It's just a really lovely feeling product. Again, I would use this the same way as the other sprays that I've just shown you. Also as a toner after cleansing and before my serum, I really enjoyed this. It is not cheap, but I would definitely consider repurchasing that again. I also like their other multi-active toner as well. This one just smells lovely. I love it. And obviously a lot of skincare benefits in that one too. Also, I have finished up a beauty elixir for smoothing and glowing complexion from Cordali. I bought this one online. I love, love, love it. I bought it after seeing Lisa Eldridge talk about this. She actually sprays this one into her hands, uses it as a refreshing pick-me-up, just inhales the beautiful scent. It's a very sort of green, organic, ah, oh, it's got like a menthol type uplifting scent it just wakes up your senses it's beautiful I recommend it I love it I just feel instantly um, awakened and refreshed when I spray this it's beautiful just for the smell alone I love it very refreshing this spray I don't like so much. I've had this one for a while. It's the Model in a Bottle, which is a makeup setting spray for a matte finish. Now, I disliked this one for many, many reasons. Top ingredient here is SD Alcohol 40B, 
followed by some other ingredients including parabens. This is something you're supposed to apply to your face after you've put on all your makeup except your mascara that comes after and it's meant to set your makeup for long wear throughout the day basically. I hated this not only the smell it smells like you're spraying isopropyl alcohol just a strong smelling alcohol all over your face you are that's the top ingredient SD alcohol but also for the spray nozzle the spray nozzle <laughs> unlike the Tresemme heat tamer protective spray the spray nozzle would basically just spray random shots of liquid onto your face so you might have a blob here a blob here a blob here and that's where the product would sit and set your makeup for the day so then your makeup would wear unevenly I just I hated this product model in a bottle hated it they have also released a sensitive skin formulation I believe of the model in the bottle which may be fragrance free or a different fragrance I don't know but oh bad experience I would not recommend this or use this again there's other sprays out there Moving on to makeup, we're finishing out here for a mascara from Shiseido. This was part of the Perfect Foundation brush pack that I bought just before Christmas. This is their Perfect Mascara for full definition. I didn't like this. This is one of those mascaras that doesn't multiply your lashes, doesn't really thicken your lashes. It just doesn't separate your lashes. It just kind of puts lashes together and... Ooh, I just don't like mascaras that do that. I want volume. I want magnification. I want it to look like I've got a thousand natural lashes. I want thickening, lengthening. That mascara doesn't do it for me, unfortunately. So even though it's not finished, I'm getting rid of that. I have a couple of foundations I have tried samples of that I have absolutely loved. And you'll see the full sizes coming up in hauls. This one is from Yves Saint Laurent. Absolutely beautiful foundation here in the Youth Liberator. I used the shade BD50. The Youth Liberator is a lightweight foundation that gives you a bit of dewiness. Youth Liberator, obviously, a nice one for an anti-aging product that uh, is nice and youthful on your face. I'll let you know more about that one later. Let me know if you've tried the Youth Liberator and what you think. I also finished up the Guerlain Tenue de Perfection foundation. This one is their Time Proof foundation that gives you ultimate lasting perfection. SPF 20 and I use this one in the shade 03 Beige Natural. Bought the full size, quite like that. Finished off a sample size of the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I love Too Faced Eyeshadow Primer. I love Urban Decay Primer Potion. I love Lorac's Up and Close. Kat Von D makes a fantastic eye primer. I thought that it was a decent eye primer. I don't know if I see a whole lot of differentiation among the more higher end eyeshadow primers the cheaper ones like the Astralis maybe might crease a little bit sooner I would say than these type ones I've seen the NARS very well recommended for those of you with very oily lids you can pick that one up from Mecca Cosmetica or of course online smudge proof eyeshadow base a nice product. Also getting rid of another mascara, this one is from Rimmel, the Scandalized Retro Glam. This one is great for those of you who do really want that full-blown dramatic lash. Can get a little bit clumpy or spidery, maybe by the sort of third layer there with that mascara, but you can build up drama on your lashes very quickly and easily with this one. That's it, that is all of my empties. Thank you so much for staying with me. I'm delighted to be doing my very first empties for 2014. Over the Christmas break I hit 25,000 subscribers. That's you and you and you and you. Every one of you, I really appreciate you subscribing. I really appreciate you watching and of course taking the time to comment, rate, recommend to friends and family. Love you for it. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a beautiful day. Help make the world around you a more beautiful place. I wish you a wonderful 2014 or at least start to it and we'll see you again really soon. Bye.